I'm Anya Murray and I'm a PhD student in the Grassland Science Department here in Chagas Moor Park. To feed the world's growing population, nitrogen fertilisers are frequently applied to the soil to achieve high grass growth and production. Nitrogen fertilisers are a major contributor to ammonia and greenhouse gas emissions. However, pressure is increasing for farmers to reduce the environmental impact of agriculture. Fertilisers containing urea are responsible for these emissions. When urea is applied to the soil, approximately 15.5% is converted to ammonia and volatilised or converted into a gas. To reduce ammonia emissions, nitrogen stabilisers such as urease inhibitors have been developed. Nitrogen stabilisers are compounds that block the reaction site on the urea granule Reducing ammonia volatilization, urea made with nitrogen stabilizers is known as protected urea. The environmental benefits of changing fertilizer type have been proven. There are questions regarding the efficiency of protected urea in terms of grass growth and dry matter production. Grazing plots were set up at four locations across Ireland comparing the grass growth of three fertilizer types, CAN, standard urea, and protected urea containing the urease inhibitor MBPD. Each plot had two fertilizer rates, 150 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare per year and 250 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare per year, giving a total of six treatments. At each site, the first grazing occurred in March, six weeks after the first nitrogen application. The study had a target of 10 rounds of grazing in each year. Fertilizer applications were applied after each grazing event and the 150 kg of nitrogen per hectare subtreatment received 60% of the fertilizer rate that the 250 kg of nitrogen per hectare subtreatment received for all fertilizer applications. Plots also received sulfur, phosphorus and potassium during the main grazing season to ensure macronutrients were not limiting. All sites were at a sufficient pH level for grass production. At each grazing event, measurements of pre and post grazing height were recorded, as well as pre grazing yield. A sample of grass was also collected from each plot to measure dry matter, crude protein, water soluble carbohydrates, and dry matter digestibility contents. The impact of protected urea on production over the course of the study detected an overall benefit from using urea protected with MBPT versus standard urea. CAN and the protected urea grew 13,478 kilograms and 13,542 kilograms of dry matter per hectare respectively. This was nearly 500 kilograms of dry matter per hectare greater production than urea. The average pre-grazing yields for the tree fertilizer types were 1,485 kilograms of dry matter per hectare for CAN, 1,480 kilograms of dry matter per hectare for protected urea, and 1,436 kilograms of dry matter per hectare for standard urea. Similar grass production was observed for the CAN and protected urea under grazing conditions at all sites, providing further evidence of the reliability of urea combined with MPPT. Given these comprehensive findings from multiple sites over a number of years, farmers and industry can confidently believe that urea protected with MPPT will reliably deliver herbage yields that match can and exceed standard urea whilst limiting harm to the environment.